Good evening. Microfinance has long been a powerful tool in fighting poverty. But in 2005, an online platform called Kiva.org brought an entirely new innovation to the practice of microlending by creating personal connections and facilitating lending to people in need around the world. Kiva.org made it possible for individuals to support opportunities for people elsewhere in the world for as little as $25. This enabled and empowered new actors to get involved in the work of development through a very people-centered form of philanthropy. So far, over 600,000 Kiva.org contributors have supported more than 590,000 entrepreneurs, from shopkeepers in Rwanda to coffee farmers in Costa Rica, from restaurant owners in Vietnam to carpenters in Iraq. But the particular story that we are shining a light on tonight began a few years ago when Kiva.org got a call from students at Wickman Elementary School in Chino Hills, California. The Wickman sixth graders wanted to do their part to help families in the developing world. That was the start of our Young Innovators Award winner tonight, the self-titled Kiva Kids. For the past few years, students at Wickman have formed a lending team through Kiva.org's platform, Kiva in the Classroom. The students raise funds and work together to choose entrepreneurs to support. At the end of each year, they hold a world summit where they meet with representatives of countries they've served, from Ghana to Azerbaijan. At this year's summit, for example, they Skyped with a Kiva fellow from Peru, Casey Unrein, and the Vice Consul General of the Philippines, Mary Jo Ramirez. Through this, they heard firsthand how their loans are helping hardworking people to build their businesses and help their families. And Wickman is just one of more than 70 youth lending teams participating in Kiva in the Classroom, teams that range from scouts to faith-based groups, where, with the support of an encouraging and caring adult, kids can make a difference to families of the world away. This is why we are providing this award to Kiva.org, because the earlier that a culture of giving is formed, the more it will endure. Young people who learn in this very hands-on way the positive impact that they can have on others' lives, the ability they have, and the responsibility they have, helps them grow. They may become teenagers like Parth Shah, Alex Stein, and Raj Parekh, who founded Kiva High School, the world's largest network of microfinance clubs for high school students. Or Morgan Lucas, who founded Campus Kiva while she was an undergraduate to help educate and engage college students in the fight against global poverty. They may someday apply to be Kiva Fellows, volunteers who work with partners in the field, helping build the connections between Kiva lenders and the entrepreneurs who they support. They might even grow up to be like Kiva.org's founders, Matt Flannery and Jessica Jackley, who were inspired to create Kiva after visiting Africa together in 2004. Matt and Jessica saw what countless others had already seen, but they thought of a new giving idea that no one else had thought of. And with this award, we celebrate the bold thinking that rising generations can bring. Please join me in welcoming representatives of the students from Wickman Elementary School in Chino Hills, California, Cameron Booth, Renee Chang, and Precious Fasakan, and from the Kiva organization, Lisa Hogan, Chief Development Officer, to, affect this, to accept this innovation award for Kiva Kids.
On behalf of Kiva's board, staff, and our 600,000 lenders around the world, I'm honored to accept the Young Innovator Award. Kiva's first five years has been about democratization, er, democratize, democratizing participation in solving the world's pressing problems. As the Young Innovator Award highlights, Kiva has made it possible for everyone to play a role in poverty alleviation, whether they are rich or poor, young or old. Now as we look into the future, Kiva is uniquely positioned to accelerate innovation in financial inclusion and adjacent issues of water, agriculture, green, edu green energy, education, and in even increasing access to microfinance across U.S. cities, all issues that are relevant to the conversation that we had today. But since this award is all about the young and the innovative, I'm thrilled to introduce an inspiring group of individuals from Wickman Elementary School who are here to represent Kiva in the classroom. This is Renee, Precious, and Cameron. When Wickman Kiva Kids started four years ago, I was amazed how I was amazed at how only increments of twenty-five dollars could make such an impact on a person on a person's life. It's great how kids like us can make a difference throughout the world through small microloans. On behalf of the Wickman Kiva Kids, we would like to thank the Rockefeller Foundation for this special honor. <laughs> 